Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is May 8th, 2021. This is episode 293, I think. <laughs> we'll figure that one out. Okay, we've got Ian Fleming's James Bond. The name of this arc is Agent of Spectre. The issue number is 003. This is out from Dynamite and it comes in a whopping... Three ninety nine. I just want to say that this arc is outstanding. I think this would work as a, a really good James Bond movie if they decide to do so. Probably better than some of the, the later ones that we've seen in the past few years. Um, and it is a way, way... It's night and day um, from the last arc that was presented here by Vita Ayala and Danny Lohr. Um, so just really enjoying it. We've got this kind of collage of things that have been happening in this comic. James Bond has teamed up with Blofeld of Spectre to take down Titania of Spectre as well. There's a feud going on between the two of them. And then he's playing them against each other while his best friend, um, Leiter, Felix Leiter of the CIA has gotten, he's been forced to shoot him to save him. So it's a little twist on that as well. So it's been a, a real enjoyable comic. It was a little hard to understand it at first, but this issue really kind of pulled it all together for me at least. Well, working on this, we've got uh, the writer is Christos Gage. Christos Gage. Artist is Luca Casalanguida. The colors is Heather Moore. No relations, no relations to Roger Moore. And letters. Letters is Simon Boland. The cover was done by Aaron. Lopresti. And I don't know if this was the cover that had the issue. I think there was something about her being in a bra and panties, perhaps, and then they changed it. But I'm not 100% sure on this. But uh, anyway, and I don't know if they have a, who did the cover on this. They have Erin Lopresti as the cover. Editor is Matt Idles, Edelson. Idelson, I'm not sure. So, it starts out there was a gunfire in the um, in the basement of the charity ball that James Bond was attending. He's having a little gunplay with Titania. This is where James Bond was forced to shoot uh, his friend Felix Leiter to not let on that he was an agent himself, um, working working to help Felix out. So um, James is able to push over some some uh, ugly corporate art. Titania jumps out of the way, and the two and she flings like a velvet rope stand at him, nails him, and what using some jujitsu knocks the gun out of his hands. And the two sit there tangle, and then they start negotiating a a truce as they go on. He he admits that he is working for Blofeld. But he's willing to hear her counteroffer. And finally, they both draw pistols at each other. And they decidedly make, decide to make an agreement at this point. And now we get a bunch of dynamite uh, Red Sonia <laughs> covers for the Invincible Red Sonia. I think one of these might be a cosplay. There you go. For you cosplay collectors of such paraphernalia. So, as, as they decide to make a decision, they pretend like James is hurt and she hides her gun. And the security rushes in and says, the guy's left that away. Go get him. And they get help for Felix, who's just been grazed. He'd, uh, James did his best not to severely hurt him, but it did knock him out. So, James goes off with Titania. Now they're asking, acting like they're a couple just to get out of the buildings. They go back to her place, have a glass of wine, seal the deal for $45 million, three times what Blofeld was offering James to, to, to kill Titania. So she's offering $45 million to kill 
Blofeld. And he drinks, and he gives her the story that he's an old agent, um, that they don't respect him anymore, that uh, his loyalty is going unrecognized, and they don't appreciate him any longer. And then a little bit of uh, lovemaking ensues since they both are just in it for the passion and the flesh more than a romantic encounter. And they talk about meeting up again in Italy at some point. Now, we get an ad for Vampirella versus Purgatory. You can see Purgatory's back in the background here. And then they give us this, which is identical to this. So I think that was supposed to be for issue four, and they either messed up or issue four cover was not ready yet. I'm not sure what to make of it. But um, in any case, it seems kind of dumb to put an advertisement in for the book that you've already bought. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. As good as this book is. So, um, James Bond is back at the Watergate Hotel. He is, this has all been happening in Washington, D.C., and he contacts Blofeld, gives him an update, say he was unsuccessful in killing Titania, but he's got another crack at her, um, and, but he'll need his help for more backup. And Blofeld agrees. This is a story as James Bond's story has checked out. And before James leaves, he goes to the George Washington University Hospital to visit his friend Felix Leiter, and he goes in disguise. I don't know if I've ever seen James Bond wear a disguise like this before, but he gets by the uh, the guard for him, and Felix, he just wants Felix to know no hard feelings. He had to do what he had to do because there was a gun pointed at the back of Felix's head that he was unaware of, and... He just hoped that he was he wouldn't hold it against him, and they they agree, leave as friends as you can see here. And he kind of tells James to take care. As James strodes off, and it's to be continued. So I don't know if the next issue is the final issue, but uh, let's see. It says here, so there's double and triple crosses going on. Um, so it looks like it is the explosive conclusion in the next issue, issue four. So there you go. Um, Ta-da-da. <laughs> now we get another ad for Red Sonia. Not the Invincible one, but just the regular Red Sonia. And then we get Red Sonia, the superpowers. And then Sacred, Vampirella, Draculina, Pantha, Nyx, Chastity and Lilith, the Sacred Six, I should say, and that's issue 10 done by Christopher Priest. We've got Betty Page in her trade paperback or hardback. I'm not sure which one that is. Maybe both. And then we have the Sonya Versal. The gods aren't always on your side. This is issue 4. And then Vampirella issue 21 with Christopher Priest. Finger licking good. And finally we get the cover gallery for 007. James Bond issue 003. So nothing really spectacular here. Um, I don't think any of them are too, too interesting. But um, yeah. The one we've got is fine. And an ad for digital comics by Dynamite. So Dynamite has got a hit on their hands, I believe. Uh, hopefully you have been checking it out. If you're not, I would, I would encourage you to do so, especially if you are a fan of James Bond. Like the first two issues were a little bit compl complicated and a little bit complex as they worked in the whole scheme to, for him to become an agent of Spectre. As MI6 tells him if he takes on this job that they will disavow any knowledge of him if he is captured, caught, or killed. You're captured or killed? <laughs> anyway, thank you for stopping by and listening to this review. As always, please like, please subscribe if you haven't. Please leave comments and we'll see you next time. I've got more comics to come. At the Temple of Tomes, as always, this is Indie Comics Jones bidding you... Adieu.